last week's vlog. Now I've come to St Michael's Mount this morning, uh, got a bad hair day and I'm very tired. It's uh, about um, 10 to 5 in the morning. I've come down to photograph St Michael's Mount, uh, which I just showed you earlier without saying about it for some reason. There it is. Um, got this really nice scene this morning, got the moon above it, which is probably not exposed it very well. And there is a tiny bit of colour in those skies and I think it's only going to last for about five minutes. And I'm going to be shooting the classic shot today of the kind of halfway um, leads down um, to the mount from the beach. I've never really shot it before. There is another photographer down here shooting it already. So I'm probably not going to be vlogging at the location just because it's a really narrow bit and it's going to be narrow enough with both of us getting in there let alone me doing video and stuff like that so i'll get set up i'll try and do a bit of video work as i'm doing it um take some kind of b-roll hopefully you can kind of understand what i'm doing from that um, and i'll probably catch up with you a bit later um, if i get more room if the if it's just me or if i get to another composition i'll speak to you a bit later and hope you enjoy the images i got from today's video Right, I went down to that um, location down there and um, the guy was right in the middle of the walkway and he had his tripod so wide I don't think I'd be able to make it work beside him. I didn't really want to um, disturb him. Um, he was there first really so I've come to a different composition so it's made me work this video, it's made me work today. Um, I've had to actually walk all the way around this beach and I'm going to have to move actually now because my feet are getting soaking wet. Um, the tide is coming in. I've not come um, suited to locations that I've got to be in the water. Um, so I'll move back a bit and I'll continue this in a minute. Right, I've moved back now, I'm slightly better. I've got wet feet, so I don't really care now whatever happens with the water going on my feet. But the bag, the camera bag, was starting to get um, a bit kind of risky of getting wet. Just going to move the strap because that's banged in the water. Um, yeah, so I've had to do a bit of work in this morning and I've had to rush to this other composition, which has meant I've had to walk all the way from around that corner all the way along this beach, scramble over some rocks. It doesn't look too far on the camera, but it's taken me about 15 minutes uh, to 20 minutes to get here. All along the way, I didn't really like anything I found. I wouldn't say this is the prettiest part of Cornwall coastwise. There's a lot of kind of gray, seaweedy colored, not very nice rocks, but coming right to the end of this beach here, um, there's actually some really nice rocks. And when it was lower tide, I was getting some nice, smooth, kind of lake-type water in these bits around it. Um, I'm just firing off some shots now while I'm talking because we are starting to get a bit of colour in this band um, of the cloud here. Um, unfortunately, I have had to come around away from the moon, um, which you should be able to see up here. Um, 
just there, which means unfortunately it's not lining up with the mount anymore. So I will be going back over there a bit later and seeing whether the other photographer has disappeared. But for the minute, I'm going to be sticking at this composition um, and I'm going to be doing slightly panoramic images to try and get something that uh, I like without getting drowned by the tide. Now, really cool composition. I have seen shots, to be fair, in the past from from this location and I do like them um, but I didn't really know how far you had to come around to get here I'm glad I found it I do like it we do have a bit of colour starting to kick off in the clouds to the left of it as well now just this big cloud here so I'm going to continue shooting get some shots and I'll catch up with you um, in a few minutes time hopefully get something I like try a few different zooms probably going to be sticking with the 16 to 35 mil. sorry this one's a bit of a rush I'm against the tide and obviously the colors in the sky. I'll catch up with you in a couple of minutes and see how we got on. the noise obviously in this video there's not going to be much I can do about the sea um, I think those shots will be okay to be fair I quite liked it because I did have to fight for a different composition downside to it, to it is my feet are absolutely soaking wet the tide came in really quickly I did actually strand myself slightly on those rocks and I had to walk into about don't know about a foot above my shoes unfortunately to get back in and unfortunately they've obviously filled with water and they're still full of water which isn't very nice um, I'm going to be heading back towards the mount now see if that causeway is cleared up and free to photograph down if not I'm probably going to have to try a different composition again um, probably something that involves going down uh, the beach like I did last time. I'm well aware that by the time I get there the last bit of colours in these clouds will unfortunately be gone. It's one of those things, it's annoying I didn't get to that causeway before the other photographer but then uh, he was obviously there before me this morning so it's all fair. Um, yeah so I'm gonna head down there now try and find somewhere else. Um, the shots I was doing back there which you would have seen already were pretty much just um, long exposures, trying to get as long a capture as I could. Shooting all the way up to F18, um, occasionally F20, and using just a polarizer and a soft, uh, sorry, a hard grad, a 0.9 Lee soft grad, hard grad, um, simply because it's so kind of horizontal that picture. And even though that hard grad is going to darken the mount uh, because it's the only thing above the horizon, it will um, make the colours um, and the golden light that was hitting it from the sun come out a bit better exposed. So it's going to come out quite nice, those images, I think. Um, shooting, like I say, an ISO of 50 just to get as long shutter speed as I could. And I was getting somewhere around about two and a half seconds to four seconds, and I was doing long exposure panoramic images just to try and get a bit of a sweep in there mainly portrait and uh, a bit of landscape as well in there just to add a bit of extra to it um, gonna continue walking down the beach now probably got another 10 15 minutes before i get to a point i'm potentially happy with if 
I find something else, I'll catch up with you out in a minute. Just like that, the causeway was gone. Um, you can just about see it there, that bit there that's sticking up, that's the beginning of it. Um, so there's no longer there, so we're actually getting probably a few hours away from high tide now, and um, it is no longer existing, you can't be seen. So I can't shoot that, unfortunately. It looks like this, the top of it here, had the same problem this morning as me, because uh, he's shooting from this causeway here, um, or this, um, kind of breakwater I suppose you call it in this harbour um, yeah happy of today I did spit, uh, see which um, you would have seen I did spot on the way back a rock with the water flowing around which I did spot on the way down to that location earlier um, and I was hoping on the way back the tide might have come in enough just to catch it and it did and I think I've got some cool images there they look quite cool in the back of the camera <coughs> um, hopefully they'll come out quite nicely you'll see them um, now so you'll be the judge of that um, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it um, enjoyable. Um, it's one of those things, I did come here with a clear sight to go and look at that causeway and photograph on it. And I do think we'd have got some really nice conditions. And it would have been interesting to see um, what the photographer was getting that was down there this morning, but I didn't actually go up and speak to him. In the end, he was a bit further out and he had wellies on and I would have got wet to, to kind of get anywhere near him. So. Um, I don't really know what images his are going to come out like or the images taken are going to come out like but it would have been interesting just to see what he got from that location um, I'm happy in a way because it made me work today it made me go and find other compositions and other locations go for a nice walk along the beach um, and it really made me kind of try and work more um, artistically and uh, kind of a uh, bit of you know have to actually get out there and try and uh, use my mind to make something that works um, it does mean unfortunately that I probably will want to come back to the location because I still haven't got that causeway shot and I do end up shooting a lot of iconic um, locations in my videos um, but then I kind of like those locations and that's the kind of photography I like so it does mean unfortunately I will have to come back here in the future and that's not a bad thing uh, it's nice to get to locations like this but it's not that easy getting to them with the light and the conditions that you want at the right time which we did have this morning um hope you've enjoyed watching this one anyway and the one from last week in cornwall um i am going to be making my way back to devon now but i am going to try and stop by a field by Newquay, which is called holly joke i know a crazy name um but it's a i think it's like a pour for a beach and there is a field above it that has these really nice wild flowers i've never been there um, but I'm intrigued to go and have a look at it today, see if I can get another video at that location, see if I can look at the wildflowers while the light is still at semi-early um, hours. Probably about an hour, 45 minutes from that location, so I'll start heading off in a minute, empty my shoes of water when I get back to the van, and uh, I might catch up with you uh, in next week's video at that location. Thanks for watching this one. Um, if you've liked it as ever, please give it a thumbs up and um, I'll catch up with you on one of the future vlogs coming up. Thanks for watching.